Hi guys, doing a quick uh, tile map tutorial for Unity 2017.2. It's going to include a quick demo, making tiles, making tile maps, and painting with the tiles. So let's begin. So here we are in Unity uh, 2017. I'll go ahead and stop this from going. And it's got a new feature called Tile Maps. And what Tile Maps does is it allows you to draw tile maps directly into the editor. And we'll start this by opening up the uh, tile palette window. And it's located right over here under the window section. So let's begin. Now as soon as we have the tile map window open, it's going to change a few things within our scene. We're going to have this uh, like gridded tile system all over. One of the first things I'm going to want to do is I want to dock this into my... Uh, my my unity browser somewhere uh, just to make it a little bit easier so it doesn't like go behind anything one of the first things we're gonna do I'm gonna show you a quick little thing how easy this is I'm going to select the tile I want to draw I'm going to draw it um, that's looking pretty good I'm gonna draw another one let's get this little thing out of the way. So I've got two little two little things right there. I'm gonna change the layer real quick and add some walls. This might be a little hard to see, but uh, drawing a wall right there and there's no wall on this other one. And then draw some walls on this. So let's go ahead and hit play and see what this looks like. So just as easy as that, I've uh, started adding some, some functionality to my game. I've got a wall, and I kind of slide on the, the wall tile, and I don't slide at all because I've added another material to these other collisions. So let's see how we can actually do all this. So this is my basic tile map right now. Uh, quickly, it's just programming art that I've quickly done just so I can kind of demonstrate. I'm going to go over the entire process, so I'll be creating a tile um, using Illustrator or Photoshop, usually a combination of the two, and then importing it into Unity, loading it into the tile map, and getting this whole process started. So let's begin by switching over real quick to go over to Photoshop. Why is this window go to Photoshop? Um, animation. No, let's not do that. Let's create a new uh, project. A new project, new file, and we'll call this uh, tile file. We're going to give it a width of 128 and a height of 128. And one of the things we're going to do, always make sure that your tiles are square. Generally, you want to use the square root of 2. So 2, 4, 8, 16, 64, 128, 256, uh, 512, 10, 24, 20, 48. That's getting a bit big. I could keep it about 128. And we created the tile file. So real quick, how we're going to... We're going to go over to the internet, our trusty old friend, and we're going to do a Google search for, I don't know, like a brick tile. Look for brick. Uh, no, you can't know my location. Go over to images. We've got these bricks. But we're going to go over here to tools, usage rights, labeled for reuse with modification. Ah, and we've got some tiles, some bricks. So these are obviously not in the right size, but we're going to use them anyway. So I'm going to take this image. I'm going to copy this image to my desktop and bring it into um, Photoshop. Then I'm going to make it much bigger. I'm going to crop this image. Then I'm going to go over to Filter. Offset again, I can either go to other offset, 64 by 64. 
Did that do anything? Did I actually make that perfect? I don't think I did. It's offset. Okay. Um, well, let's use the spot healing brush anyway. I kind of. Oh, yes, please rasterize. Let's filter offset. Ah, here we go. Now it's looking bad. Didn't rasterize, so the image didn't crop properly. So cropped. Uh, filter offset. There we go. Use the spot healing tool. Didn't quite do a great job. But you just play with the spot healing tool and it's really a really great brush. Let's uh, filter offset this again. Just kind of fix up these places where it doesn't overlap. Great. Unfortunately, I've got this one area that's just not working for me, so I'm going to go over to the clone brush. I'm going to make my brush size bigger. I'm going to hit Alt. And then I'm going to paint it over here. Once again, just kind of. There we go. Filter offset. And we're going to spot heal now. Again. There we go. That will be fine. <laughs> That'll be fine. It's not great. It still doesn't match up quite right, but it's just a quick tutorial to kind of get you where you're going. So let's save out these two files. We're going to go to save, save for web and devices. Uh, as a PNG 24, we're going to name this brick. And we're going to drag them over here into the Unity's project folder somewhere. Uh, I've already got a sprites folder set up. Let me just create a new folder under assets. And then make this a tutorial file. So open up that. Then we just drag our assets in. So now we have these sprites. I've opened this project in uh, 2D. You can kind of see what they look like. And let's try bringing these in. So first of all, I'm going to bring in the brick texture. It's going to say create a new tile. We're going to hit save. We're saving this the tutorial folder. And we can see that this brick file didn't really fit within our grid. And if I try to use it, I can use it quite fine. But it just kind of overlaps everywhere. And uh, that's not what we want. So let me just erase these tiles real quick. What we, you need to do is you need to come over here to the sprite file. And look over here where it says pixels per unit, and we need to change that to whatever pixel size we use. And I used 128. Uh, the default for Pixels per unit in Unity seems to be 100. I always like to use the square root of 2 as my uh, square sizes. So I'm changing the pixels per unit to 128 and hitting apply. And as soon as I do that, you can notice that the tile shrunk down to actually fit within the grid here on our tile map. And if I use it again, now we're getting like what I really want. You know, it's, it's fitting perfectly. That is the basics of creating a tile, but real quick, let's look over at the inspector on the tile file itself. You've got a couple different things. You've got the color, which you can change. Uh, here we go. Making this brick now like reddish. I just needed a little second to update. Or moving that back to white. You can change the collider type from sprite to grid. And we'll go over this a little bit later. Um, yeah, we'll just go over this a little bit later. But when you have it as a grid collider on, that entire little square right here is going to be a collider. If it uh, is just the sprite, it's just going to show where all the pixels are, and that's going to be where your collider forms.